Well, now listen, I don't think I really should have had today's guest on the show at all because he's just so damn cool and hilarious and stylish and younger than me as well. So I'm going to be totally upstaged. But sure, listen, I suppose I'm a pretty selfless person. Mr. James Kavanagh, how are you doing, my friend? I'm good. You're cool and handsome and stunning as well. Oh, cheers, James. (laughs) Cheers. Thanks a million. So listen, it's so good having you on the show. How's your day going? Are you snowed in in Dublin? Yeah, it's absolutely Baltic, but I'm loving the snow. It's, It's making everything like really pretty. Oh, brilliant. Now, well, James, from social media star to TV star, you're the new host of Ireland's Got More Talent. I'm telling you, you must be having an absolute blast with that. Yeah, it's so much fun, and it's mad. Like, I was only saying to someone the other day, because something popped up in my timeline from about two years ago when I first started on Snapchat. Yeah. It was some, like, uh, you know, top ten people follow on Snapchat. I put it up, and like, oh, my God, I'm included in this thing, you know, follow <laughs> on Snapchat. And here's two years later, and I, I'm, like, I've been hired for a TV program basically because of my Snapchat, which is madness. It's unlocked so many doors for me in the past kind of year and a half. And, you know, Ireland's Got More Talent is kind of the next, like, fun thing. So, it, yeah, it's been it's been amazing. It's been kind of um, interesting to kind of... Because I'm used to, like, you know, me and my phone on my own in my yeah. bedroom. So there's been kind of a bit of a learning, you know. Um, but having someone like Landa Gilson's Hope is out with me is great because she's so experienced. So when we kind of got, got when we got, got the call, I you know we were told we were going to be together, and I was delighted for you know I'd have someone by my side who's really good at TV and knows what to do. And but yeah, it's such a blast. What I love about the show is that it's like um, you know you, you look at all these kind of shows like X Factor and stuff. Yeah. And it's mainly the, the the shows tend to be kind of about one thing, like singing or whatever. This is like a variety show. This so there's loads of different you know. One moment she'll have a magician, the next she'll have a, <laughs> uh, a, a person who can make a, you know, his parents sing. <laughs> then you'll have a, a group of her kids on yeah. stage. So you're always kept on your toes and kind of always kept wondering, okay, what's next? <laughs> uh, James, what's it like presenting alongside the fabulous Linda Gilson? Do you get jealous of how fab she is or do you kind of secretly try and outdo her all the time? I love her. Like, <laughs> I used to do expose slots for her. Yeah. She's just so, so nice. Crack. Um, and because the days that are, you know, that we're filming are so long, you kind of, like, um, thank God I'm with someone I actually like. Yeah. Because, you know, you hear these horror stories of actors and presenters and whatever working together and they secretly hate each other. Not saying I'm on their level at <laughs> all, but, like, you know, Sarah Jessica Parker and Kim Cattrall, like, Oh my god, they the drama actually, with those two. Oh, the drama. But, like, it, it, apparently they hated working together and, like, Filming days are really long, so I just couldn't imagine like working with someone I, I actually didn't like because we'd be filming and interviewing, you know, the judges or someone, and then there's like a two-hour kind of lull until the next thing. Yeah, and it's just me and her in a room together, and but luckily we have the absolute crack together. She is so funny, and again, she like gives me little elbows into the side <laughs> to like ask a question or. So she's a really good mentor in that way. I think the best thing about the show is as well, it seems like you've all gelled so well. So listen, I've got to ask you a couple of questions about you and the judges. Are you all the time sitting around having coffee with your new besties, Michelle Visage and Denise Van Outen? My good friend, Michelle Visage. Your good friend, Michelle that's what Visage. I like. that's See how the way I, like I threw that in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, stop. I'm obsessed with her. Like, I obviously knew her from RuPaul's Drag Race and um, <laughs> then met her in real life. And she's just as kind of bubbly and fizzy as you'd imagine. Like, yeah. just brilliant. I was really nervous meeting her as well because she's so kind of fearsome on, like, RuPaul's Drag Race and, you know, she can be honest in her, what she thinks about people and she's so warm. Like, that's one thing I was kind of, uh, like, taking aback by. She's just so lovely and warm to absolutely everyone. On one of the days, one of the last days of filming, she um, bought everyone cupcakes and I mean everyone. Like, oh. the cleaners, the boom operators, the cameramen, the sound people, everyone behind the scenes, and um, she bought everyone cupcakes. Denise is so brilliant as well in terms of like, she's kind of like the, the honest judge. Yeah. Like, it, she'd be saying the things that people at home would be thinking, <laughs> but she'd never really have the courage to say. Yeah. So she's just she's great for that. Like, she doesn't have time for like mediocrity. So she's just like, wants to get through it all get the good stars, get the good talents um, and get through. But yeah, I, I, the judges are brilliant. And James, have you sang for Louis Walsh yet? No, we haven't sang, but we sang. Oh, danced. you need to. I know. We, we did an audition in the first episode, a kind of line dancing thing with <laughs> myself and Glenda. Needless to say, we got four X's. Um, and <laughs> if anyone wants to 
see they can see it on the player and be scarlet for us. But um, no, maybe I'll have a little thing from now when we go back filming for live. Okay, now listen, James. We've talked about how your career has gone from strength to strength. Now, you know you've made it when it's time to hire an assistant. Now, I saw on Facebook a few weeks back that you're looking for an assistant, or as you call it, a part-time helper of bits. Did you find someone? I did, I did. <gasps> His what is the James Kavna part-time helper of bits actually like? He's brilliant. Uh, I needed someone who was like really, really good at like techie stuff, good at social media, good at like um, editing, good with a camera because that's kind of my life. <laughs> so um, I got this guy, Michael. He sent me this really daddy little video. His name is Michael Fitzpatrick and uh, he kind of films himself doing a presenting thing and then he showed off his editing skills. So, so I've, I've hired him and I'm working with him now and kind of creating kind of fun content and stuff like that but um yeah it got really interesting after this. <laughs> <laughs> I bet and listen I think you'll soon need a full time helper of bits because you absolutely rock and your career is just oh, going from strength to strength speaking of which your Carabini Cafe dream it's set to come true this year yeah we're opening up a cafe this August um, and we have a cookbook uh, published by Penguin coming out in October so this is the kind of year where Carabini really happens um, and hopefully takes off it's been, a, it's been a fun ride. Oh, brilliant. Now, I'm going to let you yeah. go in one second, James. I just have to tell you, out of all the impressions you've ever done, your Melania Trump impression for me was at the very, very top. <laughs> now, listen, you love taking the mick out of a celebrity or two, but who for you do you think deserves to be wound up the most? Who just asks for it? Donald Trump. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I mean, uh, <laughs> why I, I would be a sin if I didn't say him. <laughs> 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 okay, Ireland's Got More Talent is back on our screens this weekend. What can we expect from the next show, James? Well, there's a lot of animals in this weekend's um, episode. Oh. And then in the weekend after, I teach Michelle and Denise how to dance to Enya's Orinoco Flow. Oh, that is so amazing. made my life, really. <laughs> I got to wear a billowing blue cape as well. So watch out for next weekend's episode, especially. <laughs> okay, brilliant. James, thank you so much for joining us. No, Definitely come back soon me. as well. I'd love to, I'd love to. Brilliant, have a great day, buddy. Take care. Bye. Bye.